Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your go-to guide for all the things to do and places to go all around the Lone Star State. I'm your host, AC, and on today's episode, we are headed to Denison to check out a world-class distillery and then to Richardson to try, get this, goat yoga. But first up, we're in the spirit of St. Patty's Day where we're headed to Ireland, <laughs> well, sort of, as we check out North Texas Irish Festival in Dallas. Welcome to the North Texas Irish Festival. Held every year for the last 36 years, it's three days of music, dancing, and sampling all the best that the Emerald Isle has to offer. So here there's food, dancing, beer, rides for the kids, multiple ways to really get to know the Irish culture. But you know the main attraction really is all about the music. And I hear some tunes, so let's go find that music. Across 13 stages, some of the best music acts from all over Ireland, Scotland, and Wales have made the trip to Texas to join in in the celebration. And with so much to see and do, I met up with Sherry Bush, the director of the festival, to help me navigate all it had to offer. The North Texas Irish Festival has been going on for its 36th year. 36 oh years. Oh my goodness. So what makes this so special that people keep on coming back year after year after year? We have all sorts of things out here, um, and it's just past the music. I mean, it is a music festival, so that is our biggest component. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we also have a, a, a building that's dedicated to our step dance. We have another building that's dedicated to uh, pet rescue groups. We got lots of furry friends out here. We have a great kids area, lots of activities for the kids, different things that they can get yeah. hands on with. Um, we have horses. Our, the Irish are known for their horses, and we've got beautiful horses, got beautiful Irish draft horses out here. Um, just about, if you want it, it's here. Come hang out, have a drink, listen to some music, just explore your heritage. Uh, everybody's an Irishman in March. <laughs> and I can't wait to get going, so thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're a busy you lady. You're so <laughs> welcome. Our first up, we swung by the Celtic Horse Experience to learn a little bit more about Ireland's equine heritage. So, you know, living in Texas, owning and riding a horse is a pretty big deal, but the Irish, they've actually been doing it way longer than we have, in fact, the Irish have a number of distinct breeds, so this demonstration gives folks an opportunity to get hands-on and see them all face-to-face -face and really learn about these guys. After that, we found another iconic symbol of Ireland, the DeLorean. So you may be a little confused as to why an American car is at an Irish festival. Well, while the DeLorean is an American car, it was actually built in Northern Ireland. So excuse me while I geek out a little bit. I've actually never been inside the DeLorean, so let's do this. Woo! All right, let's go, Marty McFly, 1985. Up next, a sheep herding demonstration complete with some seriously adorable shepherds. All right, so if you're a fan of the show, you know I absolutely love animals and normally I'm more of a dog person, but I also find sheep hilariously cute. So when we found an activity that combines the two, you know it was a must see. Sheep farming goes back centuries in Ireland and the country is well known for its wool. Well, we're just different because, I mean, if you're in from the city, you've never seen a sheep and much less a dog work it. So, uh, you know, we're kind of old school history. We bring back a pastime to the Irish festival and bring it back to its roots. So good dog. <laughs> One thing this Texas Irish festival is really good at building up an appetite. Unfortunately for me, they had plenty of options for traditional Irish fare. I couldn't wait. Back inside, the party was really kicking up with Susie's Cakes. And for our food demo for the day, chocolate Guinness cupcakes. Once again, taking two things that I love and putting them together. This is um, our chocolate Guinness cupcake. So with the batter, it's basically kind of like a devil's food cakey chocolate batter. Um, and then, but we add beer to it. Oh so we goodness. use the dark drought um, Guinness beer. And then with our buttercream, it's an all-American buttercream, so just your basic simple ingredients, and we add a little bit of Bailey's to it. Okay, and then you did some kind of swirl thing? Yep. Just swirl thing. She's hired. Y'all, I did it! Yay! I did it! <sighs> and after a nice sugar rush, I explored more of what the festival had to offer. My forever home, right? Yeah. 
Our rescue group is called New Life IFS Rescue, and we actually made a commitment this year in 2018 to give 100 service members, so veterans, active duty, retired, a service dog. So 100 service members, 100 service animals. So that's our commitment this year. It's called our One for One campaign. Look how precious. Okay, so right about now, I'm regretting I don't know how to Irish step dance, but luckily for me, there's a ton of demonstrations going on. And let me tell you, it's not as easy as it looks. But after a little work, I was actually kind of getting the hang of it. That's a workout. Good. I'm retiring. <laughs> and as our day was winding down, I realized that there was one more thing that I had missed. No trip to the festival would be complete without a pint of Ireland's most famous export. All right, so Guinness has actually been around since 1759. Let me say that one more time, 1759. So if they've been doing it that long, you know it's definitely got to be good. So you know what they say? Slancha. What is it? Slancha. Sanchez? All right, Slancha. acts they have performing this year. If you thought it was all Irish folk music, well, think again, because they really do have something for everyone. All right, so that does it for us here at the North Texas Irish Festivals. We had an absolute blast. If you're ever in Dallas and have the festivals in town, make sure to come check it out. In the meantime, we're going to see you later. Yellow Texas.